I think that women have been sold a bit of a lie. I think that we were told in the 50s, 60s, 70s that you can go out and go to work and have the same careers as men and also dominate home life and have gorgeous weekends and lovely evenings and come home and cook a beautiful at least two course meal and raise children. It's a lie and it's a lie that makes the idea of balancing all of those things I think makes a lot of the women I know feel inadequate even when they're brilliant. So if they're nailing it at work, they feel like their private life is falling apart. If they're nailing it in their private life, they feel that, okay, they're ignoring work. The truth is that the, the separation of the two things is incredibly difficult. This might be controversial, but I think if you aim to do something you love, then you don't need to have entire balance away from it. What you can then do is create moments within what you love that are just about you. For example, I travel a huge amount now. What I try to do whenever I travel, it can be really difficult, is at least have one day, at least one evening that's just about me, seeing something I haven't seen before, going to a restaurant that I've been excited about. I try to have people come out and meet me. So I think it's really about how can you blend what you do if you love it. So you don't need to escape it, you just need to carve about the moment that works best for you. So work-life blend rather than balance is where I'm trying to find my sort of my niche.